I need your advice on janitorial air conditioner troubleshooting. The AC coils tend to go out every two years. Then again, there's a class action lawsuit against Goodman and Amana for making coils too thin to handle the high-pressure refrigerants that replaced Freon. I have a janitorial AC, not Goodman. Janitrol was bought by Goodman HVAC in 1982, that means that Janitrol labeled systems are actually Goodman units these days. AC coils tend to leak anyway. And as you said about the high pressure, that means they are more likely to leak at the valves too. You can guess it is a refrigerant leak if the unit works longer and harder to get the house just as cool. You know it is a refrigerant leak if the coil is iced up on one portion of the coil is frozen. No, it is not covered in ice. I do not think janitorial ACs are advanced enough to have a defrost heater on the AC coils. You could have a refrigerant leak without ice, generating excess moisture in the unit. That sounds like problems with ice buildup in my refrigerator's freezer. We learned about the excessive ice when the defrost heater kicked in, generating more meltwater than the drain could handle, causing it to flood. If the drain pan cannot handle the condensate, causing water to accumulate in the bottom of the unit, that may be a sign of a refrigerant leak. Or a sign I need to replace the air filters. That traps moisture around coil that is otherwise vented outside. In theory, really bad airflow around the coils could cause it to freeze too. However, that's easy to diagnose, based on how black the air filters are. They probably do need to be changed. If you hear banging around the compressor, you may have a refrigerant leak. If you hear bubbling and popping, you know it is a refrigerant leak. What else indicates a problem, specifically a problem that is not a refrigerant leak? If the AC is on fire, you know it probably had an electrical problem. An AC on fire is not consolation for knowing what's wrong with it, and a motor overheating could cause it to catch fire, not just an electrical short. Most ACs have sensors to monitor the unit's temperature and shut it down if the motors or unit exhaust get too hot. If the AC keeps shutting off after running for a while, and it is not a thermostat war, the motors and other parts overheating may be it. How could I tell if that's the issue? I mean, it is going to be hot under this summer sun. The AC should give you error codes on the control panel to show that it shut down because something was too hot and the error code says whether it is an electrical short, fan motor, compressor or so forth.